When fetching data inside components, you need to be aware of two data fetching patterns, sequential and parallel. In sequential data fetching, requests in a component tree are dependent on each other. This can lead to longer loading times, but there may be cases where this pattern is inevitable because one fetch depends on the result of the other. Let's understand better with an example. For the mock data, we will once again rely on the JSON placeholder API. This time though, we will use the slash hosts and slash users endpoints to create a blog-like page. The slash posts endpoint returns an array of 100 posts and each post has a user ID, host ID, title, and body. The slash users endpoint returns an array of users which we have already used before. If we append user ID to slash users, for example, slash one, we get the individual user object. In our application, we will create a posts component that fetches all posts, and then for each post, it will fetch its author using the user ID property. This is a perfect example of sequential fetching because we need the user ID from each post before we can fetch its author. Let's jump into VS Code and get started. Inside your app folder, create a new folder called posts sequential and add a page.tsx file inside it. First, let's define our TypeScript type for the posts. Each post has user ID, ID, title, and body. For our component, we will call it posts sequential. So export default function posts sequential. Make this component async to support data fetching. Since we have just learned the fundamentals of data fetching in server components, I'm going to paste the entire component code here, and then we'll go through it step by step. We start by fetching all posts from the slash posts endpoint, JSON placeholder typeycode.com slash posts, which is the URL you can find in the browser. We convert the response to JSON, and then we filter the posts to only include the ones with an ID that is divisible by 10. This is to make sure we have a different author for each post as JSON placeholder has the same author every 10 posts. In the JSX, for each post, we display the post title, body, and a placeholder for the author name to be fetched. If we check the browser by navigating to slash posts sequential, we should see 10 posts being displayed. Now let's see how we can fetch the author for each post. Back in VS Code, create a new file called author.tsx inside the post sequentials folder. So author.tsx. Define the author type. This is the user type, but we only need the ID and name fields. So ID of type number and name of type string. Now let's define our author component. Once again, I'll paste the entire component code here, and then we'll go through it step by step. We have a function component that takes a user ID prop, makes a fetch request to JSON placeholder slash users slash user ID endpoint, and returns the author's name. To use this component, we need to import it into our post sequentials page component and replace the placeholder author name with the author component. Delete the paragraph tag, invoke author component, make sure to import it at the top, and then pass in user ID is equal to host.userID. If you check the browser, we should see the posts displayed with the author name, Leanne Graham, Evan Havel, and so on. This is sequential data fetching in action. First, we fetch all posts from the slash post API. Then for each post we render, we make another fetch request to fetch its author's details. Each author request has to wait for the post request to complete because we need the user ID from the individual post. This works perfectly fine, but we can improve this by not blocking the UI while we are fetching the author details. We want to show the post first and stream the author in the background. We can do this by wrapping the author component in a suspense boundary. So wrap it with suspense from React, which you should make sure to import from React at the top opening and closing, author is the children prop, and on suspense, we specify the fallback prop, a div tag that renders loading author in gray color. In the author component, we can add one second delay to see the loading text in action. Await new promise, 
we solve after one second. Now, if we check the browser, reload, we should see the posts displayed with the loading author text, and after a short delay, the author name should be streamed in. Our component works as expected. If you're clear with sequential data fetching, let's move on to parallel data fetching. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.